Good afternoon. Proper of Saints for the 2nd of October is a memorial mass to the Holy Guardian Angels. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. The Collect O God, who in your unfathomable providence are pleased to send your holy angels to guard us, hear our supplication as we cry to you, that we may always be defended by their protection and rejoice eternally in their company through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. The first reading is a reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord says this, I myself will send an angel before you to guard you as you go and to bring you to the place that I have prepared. Give him reverence and listen to all that he says. Offer him no defiance. He would not pardon such a fault. For my name is in him. If you listen carefully to his voice and do all that I say, I shall be enemy to your enemies foe to your foes. My angel will go before you. The word of the Lord. Psalm 91 to 6, 10 to 11. Response verse 11 is, The Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. The Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High and abides in the shade of the Almighty says to the Lord, My refuge, my stronghold, my God in whom I trust. The Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. It is he who will free you from the snare of the fowler who seeks to destroy you. He will conceal you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. The Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. You will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day nor the plague that prowls in the darkness, nor the scourge that lays waste at noon. The Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. Upon you no evil shall fall, no plague approach where you dwell. For you has he commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. The Lord has commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Give thanks to the Lord all his hosts, his servants who do his will. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples came to Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? So he called a little child to him and set the child in front of them. Then he said, I tell you solemnly, Unless you change and become like little children, 
you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. And so the one who makes himself as little as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Anyone who welcomes a little child like this in my name welcomes me. See that you never despise any of these little ones, for I tell you that their angels in heaven are continually in the presence of my Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring you as we venerate your holy angels and graciously grant that under their constant protection we may be delivered from present dangers and brought happily to life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the presence of the angels I will praise you, my God, as you are pleased to nourish us for eternal life. With so great a sacrament, Lord, direct us by the ministry of angels into the way of salvation and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. God bless you all. I'm sending you God's peace in abundance. May you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. God bless the rest of your day and thank you once again for listening.